All right, let's look at number seven. So seven is asking us, will NH4F be acidic, basic, or neutral in water given pKb um, of NH3 and Ka of HF here? So it's asking us acidic, neutral, basic, or neutral, and asking us what is the final pH of a solution that has 0 0.123 molars of ammonium fluoride? So let's look at the solution here. And what they wrote down first is they wrote down the dissociation, which is great, because that's kind of the first step into every equilibrium problem. So if NH4F is going to dissociate into NH4 plus, plus F minus here. And then what's, act, what's also in equilibrium is this NH4, right? Because this NH4 is also, if I add H2O, because it's in water, it's going to dissociate into, um, it's going to be in equilibrium with NH3 plus H3O plus. And that's very important as well. And that's what they're doing uh, here as well. Um, and they also wrote an equilibrium reaction for uh, the F minus here. So F minus plus H2O. Also get me HF plus OH minus. So F minus is simply the conjugate base of our hydrofluoric acid. So therefore you have, again, NHF is NH3 plus HF here. Um, which is good. Uh, they simply just uh, combine both of these reactions together. Uh, so what they're doing here is they're using the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation. So pH equals half. Uh, um, is this the Henderson-Hasselbalch? Let's see. Oh, this is not the Henderson-Hasselbalch. I don't know which reaction they're, which formula they're using here. It's half times pKa of NH3 plus pKa of HF. And I don't know if we're given... We're given the Ka here, so we can actually solve for the pK, um, pKa here. I don't know what this formula comes from. This is half of pKa here. So let me just Google this, half of pKa. Because this one is henderson hasselbalch so I don't know what this formula here is. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen this formula before. pH equals half of pKa plus pKa. So I'm not sure about this formula here. Um, because I'm solving for the pH here, but it's not it's not determinant of, it doesn't rely on my pH here, it just relies on my pKa. So the solution here is um, incorrect here. Um, we can actually use the, so what I was talking before, we can actually use the henderson hasselbalch equation. So we have pH equals pKa plus log of base over acid. So our base HA over our acid A minus here. And this is the correct formula for um, henderson hasselbalch I don't know what, Kind of this formula here is it but it could be valid i'm not sure but again my answer doesn't rely on uh, the concentration here which worries me a little bit um our pka here is 4.75 or sorry this is a pkb value so i have to find a pka value which is 14 minus 4.75 so pka is 14 minus pkb it's 14 minus 4.75 which is 14 minus 4.75, which is 9.25. And then we can figure out our pH using the log of base over, uh, the concentration of base over acid here. And I don't think we're given a concentration of our, of our base here. Um, but I think what we can do is instead of using this, we can actually use an ice table because I'm not giving my concentration of acid and base. I think I'm going to just simply use an ice table instead. So let me just erase this. Cause I'm just going to use an ice table and then solve for the concentration of our hydronium ion instead. 
so let's see. So I'm going to use this first formula here. Let me just erase this as well. And I'm simply just going to do an ice table instead. Again, I was I was going to do a house wall because I saw the solution, but I think a nice table is a little bit more appropriate here. So I'm starting with, again, if I start with a 0 0.123 of ammonium fluoride, I'm going to start with 0 0.123 molarity of our ammonium here as well. Uh, water does not, I don't care about my water in my equilibrium reaction. I start with 0 and 0 here. So I have minus x, so I have 0 0.23 minus x. I gain some type of concentration here, which is great. And then what we know is our pKb of our ammonia is uh, 4.75. So we can actually write down our Ka value here because I have ammonia. So I'm going to have to actually translate this. So what I can do is I can do the same thing. So I can say pKa here is going to equal 14 minus pKb. So pKa is going, I, I think I solved for this as 9.25, which is good. And I'm going to translate this back into Ka. So Ka is simply just, um, uh, Ka is going to be P, uh, the 10 to the negative 9.5 here. It's simply just, um, negative log of k pk is negative log of k so k has to be 10 to the negative pk so negative 10 to the power of negative 9.25 here which is going to be 5.62 times 10 to the 10. and given our k value here we can actually solve for x value which will solve which we can solve for our um uh our hydronium ion which will give us our p our k our ph sorry this is 10 to the 10. So this is going to be the concentration of ammonia, NH3, and water divided by concentration of ammonium. We know that this is x squared divided by 0 0.123 minus x. I'm going to use a small x approximation again. So this is going to go away. I'm going to simply just multiply both sides by 0 0.123. So I'm going to get 6.92 times 10 to negative 11 on this side. And then we square root both sides to get our concentration of hydronium, which is 8.32 times 10 to the negative 6. And this will equal our concentration of our hydronium. Right? This is the molar solubility for this compound. So we can do is simply pH equals negative log of our hydronium here. This is going to equal 8.32, sorry. 8.32 times 10 to the negative 6. This is going to equal, it should equal our answer, which is 5.08 here, which is not what they got here. 5.08. And this here is our pH for this solution. So this is 5.08, assuming that this was only for the ammonia, but I believe that we need to assume. Um, the, uh, we also have to talk about our uh, conjugate base, which is our F minus here. So I think I have to do basically repeat the step for F minus, and then we can solve for what the um, uh, pOH for that one is, and then look at our two values um, for that compound. So I think that's why they wrote half, because it's halfway of both sides, but. I think that that might work as well. So let me let me have to look at the solution. Um, I think that this I think that this equation actually holds because it's an amphoteric substance. So that's why it doesn't actually I don't actually care about the concentration here. So I believe that that equation actually will hold for uh, for amphoteric substance. So let me just write down what I would do. So I've got zero point one two three. And then I'm basically creating another ice table here. So this is 0 0.123, or sorry, minus x. 0.123 minus x. This would be plus x and plus x here. And then I would basically do my, um, I have a Ka of hf here, but I need my um, Kb value because I'm working in h uh, in OH minus. So what I would do is I would actually find the Kb value by simply doing Kb equals 
ka times kb here. I know that k, or sorry, this is kw. kw is 10 to the negative 14 times 6.6 .6 times 10 to the negative 4 times kb. For kb is going to equal 1.0, uh, 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14 divided by 6.6 .6 times 10 to the negative 4. This is kind of two questions. One, it's a very long question here. So I'm going to 1.52 times 10 to the negative 11. And now we can write out our concentration, right? Because I can do set this to my KB. So 1.52 times 10 to the negative 11 is going to equal the concentration of OH minus and HF divided by F minus here. This is X squared divided by 0 0.123 minus X. We need a small X approximation again. So I'm just going to simply multiply both sides by 0 0.123. So I'm going to get 1.86 times 10 to the negative 12 equals x squared. Square root both sides. I'll get my molar solubility, which is going to be 1.36 times 10, or 1.37, sorry, times 10 to the negative 6 polarity, which will equal my concentration of my hydroxide ion. And then what I can do is I can uh, solve for my pOH here. So pOH is negative log of my hydro, uh, hydroxide ion. It's negative log of 1.37 times 10 to the negative 6, which is going to equal 5.86. So let's see. I have 5.86 for this guy here. So pH would be 14 minus pOH, which is simply 14 minus that number, which is 8. 0.13. So I have here 8.13 and 5.08. So it should be halfway between these two values here. So I have 5.08 plus 8.13 divided by 2. And this would give me my, um, my solution here. And this would be 6.605. And I believe this one would be our correct answer um, based on those concentrations there. Um, so they're very, very close to, to what they got here. But again, I'm not sure if this equation holds for this, uh, this formula. Um, let, me, let me just do a quick Google search. Amphoteric substances, half pKa plus pKa. formula yeah so I'm, I'm, I'm not I'm not I'm actually quite unsure about this formula here so I'm gonna say solution is incorrect and I'm gonna base it based off of my uh, double two ice tables here doing two ice tables uh, with both NH4 plus and F minus gives me pH values of, this is 5.08 and 8.13 respectively. The average pH value would be 6.0, 6.61, which is close to 6.215, but not quite. I am unsure about the formula you used for amphoteric substances. Substances where pH equals half times the sum of pKa values. So I'm just saying the solution here is incorrect. Okay, I think that's enough uh, chemistry for today. Again, I only got through uh, seven questions today just because, again, this question was very, very long and they didn't really provide a great solution for us, but I'll pick off where we left off um, probably next week as well. Again, thank you so much for watching. Again, my name is Joey. Um, if you like these YouTube channels, uh, sorry, YouTube videos and live streams, definitely check us out at youtube.com slash one class and you'll be able to access those videos as well. 
Again, thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, and have a good day. Thank <laughs> you.